Uh, so glad you're here. Um, my name is Scotty. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a software engineer at Google. Um, before that, I've worked at Yahoo. I worked at a company that no one's heard of and at the University of Pennsylvania. So right now, I'm working on the Google Plus Android app. But I've worked on Yahoo Mail, Yahoo Messenger, others. And I have had an Android phone for about four years. So I know at least half of what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> So I'm, I'm interested to know um, kind of why everyone else is here. Um, I want to know, um, so obviously to learn about Android, I assume. Um, everyone here has an Android phone, I'm guessing. Great. OK. Uh, how many people, or a tablet, that works too. Um, how many people is this your first tablet or first phone, first smartphone? OK. Um, how many people is it your first computer? OK, that's good. Uh, awesome. So I mean, that's, that's a good way to think of it as uh, it's not just a phone. It's really like a, a small computer. Um, and it can do a lot of cool tricks. It's just that they're not always easy to find out. Um, so the other thing that I, I kind of want to do before we really get into stuff is just kind of make a list if there's anything that anyone specifically wanted to uh, know about so that I make sure that I cover it. Uh, I'm just going to type it down here. How to take photos on the phone uh -huh. and attach them to Sure. Great. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, uh, like an ad, like uh, on the Craigslist. on Craigslist. Okay. Um, yeah, I can I can talk about that. Um, so photos to internet. Anything else? Anyone specific? Yes. Installing apps. Installing apps. Definitely get to that. Any? Go ahead. <coughs> these mm -hmm. female things on the phone. What they all do? That's, okay. I mean, it's all a mystery to me. And how do you transfer things from one thing to the other, which I suspect is the reason for these things? Probably. Um, yes, we can definitely, uh, you know, I can't see from here, okay. but we can definitely take a closer look at, at what you got. I don't have a phone. <laughs> That's OK. Um, yes? Uh, can you go over uh, Google Now and how to use um, Voice instruction sure. for finding things out. And I know there's something called Google Assistant. Now. Yeah, I can totally. I will totally get to that. Yes. Uh, because my my phone is so small, mm -hmm. and I need to turns to the TV screen. Okay. Can do that. Sure. Screen. Okay. Got that. Anyone else? Yes. Why does it go into the connect? How how we can. Sure. Internet, how to, OK. And yes? Uh, I've got a few things. I've got a new phone. Uh -huh. It keeps asking me to update my Google settings. I, I think to identify me as mm -hmm. a proper user. And then the other thing is to download a few apps, which will be uh, Comcast Xfinity. OK. And also uh, Yahoo Mail. Awesome. Um, OK. Uh, anything else that, yes? Well, maybe, I think I have GPS or that. The map thing? I don't know how you do that. Okay, Google Maps? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. Yes? Uh, because that's my phone has a problem, so mm -hmm. maybe you need them to restart. Sure, how to like to just start fresh? No, no, they did it. But okay. I lost my, all my message and uh, my line, so is there any way I can trip back? Um, Good. We, we can definitely talk about it. The short answer is probably not this time, but we can set it up so that if that happens again, that you won't lose anything anymore. Yeah. OK. Great. Um, so I'll just put that away for a minute. Yeah. Oh, sure. Go ahead. When, when? Uh, so for people who are standing, we're sorry the room is really small. But we are live streaming the class. So if you want to like watch the class, uh, it's online now, yeah. So you don't need to like stand here. You can go to yeah maybe the bridge and then watch the class online. That's one option if you don't want to stand here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and also second, uh, at the end of the class, please fill out the evaluation uh, for the class. Mm, I'm gonna pass on it here. The third is introduction. Um, oh, so yeah, yeah Sorry. Naughty, yeah, our <laughs> instructor. He's a volunteer from Google, and mm -hmm. we're uh, thankful that he, uh, he volunteered here to teach the class today. Yeah, that's oh, good. Thanks, uh, 
I don't, we, maybe wait to clap until we get through some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah so no, this it's is a the second time is doing this. Yes. Uh, and hope you enjoy the class. Thanks. Okay. Um, okay, yes. Yeah, so, also, yeah, thanks to anyone who's on the live stream. Um, that's kind of exciting, definitely a first for me. Um, okay. So, um, first things first, what is Android? Um, Android is uh, the, the best way to think about it is your phone is a computer, Android is the operating system. Just like on your regular computer, maybe it's Windows or Mac. Um, it's the, the operating system is the connection between the, the actual phone device and you and your brain and your eyes. Um, so it, you know, it talks to the hardware, it knows, for example, what a camera is and how to do the special magic things that make the camera take pictures. And then it also knows how to interpret your touches, your, your gestures, your typing into something that uh, you know, kind of translates between the, the phone hardware itself and you. It also runs apps, which are kind of the, the base unit of pro, like a program you know, of, of a thing that your phone can do. It's usually contained within an app. Um, why is it cool? Well, Android can run on pretty much anything except an iPhone. Um, you can run Android on, or Android runs on phones, obviously, and tablets, and televisions, and watches, and cars, and probably toasters or something. Um, and so that, that's cool because that means that it's, um, you know, it's very wide, use is pretty widespread. Um, and well, that's, I don't know, I think that's just cool. Um, the other thing is that <laughs> Android, uh, you, you really can pick the, the device that runs Android that has exactly what you want. So whether you want something that's waterproof and really, really tough, or um, has a really big screen, or is small and cheap and uh, you know, doesn't cost too much money and, and will last forever, you can find something. Um, another great thing about Android is it's uh, super easy to, to customize it and make it or, uh, exactly the way that you want it. So you don't like your the, the app you use to send text messages, that's fine. You can get a different one. If you don't like your home screen, you can get a different one. Um, and we'll get into kind of what all that means later. Um, so in, in, overall, the, the important part is that it's just you have a lot better control over your phone so that you can make it work really well for you. Um, now, that can also lead to some frustration. Because Android works uh, you know, on, on a bajillion different devices and uh, every, it, it means that everyone's going to have a slightly different view of what, you know, it's going to look, everything's going to look slightly different for every individual phone. Um, so that's going to be sort of probably, uh, you know, a, a point of frustration in this class, but I think we'll, uh, we'll be able to get through it. I, we're going to, um, you know, that was something that, that didn't work so great last time. So hopefully we'll be a little better this time. Um, the other thing with, you know, Android, because everything is a little bit independent and runs in its own world. Battery life is not always the best. Um, we can talk about, at, the, at some point, uh, tips and tricks to make that better if people are interested. And because you can change everything, you actually have to kind of go through the, the exercise of knowing what, is, what you want and how to change it. Um, then one other thing is that this all may seem overwhelming. And, and you know the phone in general might seem in, overwhelming. And it's not easy. Um, but it is, you can do it, and we will, that's, that's kind of why we're here, right? Um, OK, so the, the basics with the, the hardware itself, getting to know what your phone is. So right up here, uh, I have a, a picture of the, what is actually my personal phone, the Google Pixel. Um, yours will look different, because not everyone has that same phone. But generally, they all, all, all Android phones have kind of the same set of stuff. So there's usually uh, a camera on the front and a camera on the back. There's a speaker and a microphone for making phone calls. There's a big touch screen, this part in the middle. I'm sure you've used that before. Um, there's, there are navigation buttons down here. Uh, and we'll talk about what those do in a minute. Um, for me, they're on the screen itself. For you, they might actually be buttons that click when you press them. Um, on the back, uh, I have a fingerprint sensor. That's becoming more common in newer phones. But uh, you may not have one. No big deal if you don't. Uh, and then also one of the, the a couple of the, the female ports that we were talking about, um, mo all of them have a charger, um, and most of them still have headphone ports. Uh, there's also usually at least three buttons on the outside. Um, one will be to turn the device on and off, 
uh, and then the other two are usually for volume. Um, yeah, so I think you see on the back of yours. Yep. So yours, yeah, the middle one for you is going to be power, and then up oh. is volume up and down. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So let's take a look. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can see right here um, the middle button, I'm sure you. And then this up here, right here, is a button, and that's volume up, and down there is volume down. Yeah. And so the, the reason that they put them on the back is that when you're holding it like this, that's just about where your finger goes. Um, but as you can see, it's not like that for me. Mine are actually on the side. So that's <laughs> right. It, it's, it's sort of they've, they've gone kind of back and forth between thinking which, you know, selling ones with buttons on the back and then going back to the side and then to the back. Um, so pretty much both um, are, yeah, we, we obviously have both in this room. Um, OK. So inside your phone, all kinds of sensors and electronics and stuff. GPS, so that your phone knows where you are. We'll talk about that in a little while. A compass, so your phone can tell you which direction you're facing. Um, your phone has, usually has a Bluetooth chip in it. And Bluetooth uh, lets you communicate wirelessly with devices. For example, um, I have a, a watch here. Um, and it talks to my phone. Uh, my car can talk to it via Bluetooth, stuff like that. Um, has NFC, which is something you can use to make payments. Um, there's something called Android Pay. You can actually use your phone like a credit card. Um, has an accelerometer. That's a cool sensor that um, can tell which way the phone, like if my phone is standing up like this, or on its side, or, you know. Sorry? Sometimes you turn this way, and the picture is not turn Right. Uh, so that is, that's a setting that you can control, and we can talk about that. Yeah. Um, and you know, Wi-Fi to connect to the internet, and also it has a phone. And uh, sometimes I forget that. <laughs> what does Bluetooth mean? Bluetooth. So that is for talking to uh, other devices wirelessly. So for example, I can put my phone in the car, and it can talk. It can uh, talk to my car and um, say, "Hey, you're getting a phone call," or put, play music uh, without connecting with a wire. I have the software, so right. So it would take off from that data from the phone. Right, exactly. So it, it's yeah, it's just it's a, a neat trick your phone can do to talk to uh, another device without connecting to it. Yes. I forgot what you said. The accelerometer. Accelerometer. That's one that can tell if your phone is standing up like this or lying down. Yeah. Um, if you want right. to use another device, you must turn. Turn on the Bluetooth. Um, yes. Yes, usually you have to turn it on and then uh, go through a connection process. Yeah. Um, yes, so that is also Bluetooth. Um, usually a headset or a speaker. Yeah. Right, exactly. So that they can, I think, and in California, I think it's the law that you have to have something like that or an in-car system. Um, otherwise, you get a ticket. Yeah. Point, 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 oh, oh, that's just uh, that's a joke. Just saying. Oh, you know, it's it's got all this stuff, and it also has a phone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. So I want to before we start kind of getting into really learning stuff, which I promise is coming soon. Just kind of go over all the ways that you can interact with your phone. Um, most of them are obviously the touch screen, um, and there are a lot of the the best way to think about them is. Uh, comparing them to just using a regular old computer. Um, so the first one that you've probably done uh, many, many times is just single tapping. So you know you just tap like that. Uh, that's like clicking a mouse on a computer. You see a button, you press it, and something will happen. Um, you can also, in a couple apps, uh, for example, Maps or in Photos, you can tap twice really quickly. Um, that doesn't quite translate to like double clicking, but that will that's like a special phone only shortcut. Um, it can zoom in and out. Um, that one wouldn't worry about uh, it doesn't happen too much. But the, the thing that we have on Android that's like a right click on a computer is long press. So what you do with that is just uh, like tap and keep tapping until something happens. Like just sort of tap and hold. So the way that I, I do it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can project here. But um, 
yeah, it's it's we'll we'll do a demo in a minute. Um, yes. And hold. Yes. It's mean and just put the, your and just, finger on there. Right. Put your finger down and just leave it down there. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. No problem. Um, the other thing that you can do, um, this is most used in when you're looking at a photo, for example, or a map, or if you're using looking at an internet page, is um, you, can, you put two fingers on the screen and you move them in or out, and that will zoom the page. Um, yeah, that's the kind of the. It makes sense. You, you know, you're taking like you're taking two points and sort of bringing them in together, and that'll zoom out. Take your two fingers and move them apart, and that zooms in. Um, the other thing that you can do, for example, if you're looking at a web page or a big long list of things, is just take your finger like this and fling it, and it'll scroll pretty fast. Yeah, instead of just going sort of slowly through one by one. Um, let me see if I can kind of demo. Yeah, so you can, it, can everyone see this at least? You don't need to see the specific details, um, just see like the, the pink bubbles. Um, so if I, you can kind of go slowly like this, right? But if I fling it, it'll just scroll super fast. Um, so if you're in, you know, you have a big long list of things, that's a, a useful, helpful gesture. Um, yeah, so uh, that was the demo. Great. Um, so the, does, does everyone feel kind of, everyone familiar with any of those or that is any part of that that's not clear? Okay, great. Uh, and doesn't look like anyone says so on. I've, they give you this thing for questions. I, why would you double? I, I understand the single, the double, sure. and the long press. But why would you double tap? Double tap um, usually is like a. So the you know how the the pinch to zoom is like a fine grained, zoom in and out. Um, double zoom is like a shortcut, where uh, that says I want to zoom either in and out, and then I'm gonna. But I want the computer to kind of figure out the right amount to zoom in and out to. So yeah. it takes the manual out of it. Right. All right. And so upside is it's quicker. Um, downside is that maybe sometimes it won't uh, do exactly what you want. Uh, quick zoom. Yes. Quick zoom, exactly. And single tap is slow. Slow. Right. Single tap is just like I want, I, want some, I, I see something on the screen and I want something to happen to it. Okay. Yeah. The pinch is for when you want to zoom in and out, oh, right? Okay. Oh. So if you're looking at like a, you know, say like the New York Times web page, and it's all on your tiny little screen, and it's you can't see it, you pinch in, and then it'll make all the text bigger so that you can you can actually read it. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is like the first place you land when you're turn turning your phone on, and that is the home screen. Um, yeah. So there. Are, like, this is where the, the various kind of Android things diverge and where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, it probably would be helpful if you want to, to kind of follow along with your own phone. Yeah. Um, so I've got three screenshots up here. I'm sorry? Wi-Fi is not very good in the library. Um, I totally agree. Uh, luckily, we don't need Wi-Fi for this. <laughs> so you can see here I have three different screenshots, and I'm going to kind of go through uh, a bunch of different things that you can find on the home screen. On the left is an LG, a typical kind of LG screen. Uh, the middle is just regular old Google, um, like what a Google phone would be like, and then the right is a Samsung. Um, this, th uh, the, the sort of key point here is that they're all going to be a little bit different, but they all mostly have the same thing. So as we go through here, I just want to make sure that everyone, like, we'll, we'll all kind of try to find it on our own phone. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, okay, so the first thing is the Google search bar, and that is awesome because it's a really quick way to to search for anything on the internet. Um, does it? Can anyone not find that? Um, usually, it's it's up near the top. Yes. Uh, yeah, awesome. Cool. Okay, the other thing, um, this one is only on the LG and the Samsung phone. The Google phone actually doesn't have this screenshot. Is uh, what's called a widget, which is like a quick information display on your home screen. So this one, it shows the weather. So um, usually at the top, um, this, you, uh, the cool thing about widgets is pretty much any app can make them. So weather is a good example. Um, you can also have one for your text messages or your email, or I've got one for uh, like flight status 
or let's see, or controlling music. It's a, a convenient way to be basically not have to go into an app to do something, like a quick action. Um, yes? So you have to put that on yourself? Um, you do. Some come pre-installed, um, but like with your phone, like the weather ones usually are just there to begin with. Um, you, so the, the way that we do it um, is th it's actually um, you just like a long press. So, so actually, this might be a, an int So if you take your, your phone and just like long press somewhere where there isn't any other icon, so just like you know, tap and hold right there. Um, and what you'll see is, um, for me at least, everything kind of shrinks, and you see some buttons at the bottom. Yours might be at the top. Um, yeah, everyone, did that happen for everyone? Yes. Awesome. Um, so for, uh, at least for me, and hopefully for you as well, you'll see three buttons. Um, one says wallpapers, one says widgets, and one says settings. Is that different for any, could, uh, is anyone not able to find that? Well, it's online. It says apps instead of settings. Oh, OK. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Same difference, yeah. Um, so the widgets is the important part. Um, and if you tap on those widgets, you'll see like a big list of them. Uh, you, you single tap that button, see a big list. And so in order to add them, um, you just, again, long press. And then you'll see kind of how they, it'll say, so sorry, uh, I should back up, uh, make sure that we're going step by step here. So every, did everyone get to the list of widgets? Yes. OK. No, no, no. no. OK. Um, hang on just a sec. I can't go I, all the way around. I press. OK. I so, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, your phone was locked. That's why. So if you do this, so uh, hmm. yours isn't there. OK. Oops. Uh, hmm, yours might not have them. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Well, this is different and new. Uh, yeah, so maybe this. You know, it's funny. When you, I, I, I got to it, but when I pressed on the uh, widgets, uh -huh. it doesn't go anywhere. That's OK. Um, so, what you want to do once you find one is you just you actually tap and hold on the widget. All right. Yeah. I don't have one. Here, let me take a quick look. Let's just, yeah, so. Uh huh. There you go. On this one. Yeah. OK. And so then to do it like that, let's just say we do this one. See how I'm just tapping and holding? And then it goes right on my home screen. Mm -hmm. Well, it, yeah, there it is. Oh, OK. So I want to put the weather down. So, mm -hmm. so we do that. Uh -huh. We tap and hold. Uh -huh. Widgets. Uh -huh. Then we find weather. Mm -hmm. So let's see. That's not quite what we want. M, S, T. OK, so like this one, maybe? Or do you want this? I don't know. No difference, right? No, there's no difference. So why don't you why don't you try? So just tap and hold. Uh -huh. Yep, keep your thumb finger down. Put it, and then when it's in the right place, you just lift your finger up. What uh, happened? I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah. Okay, so I think. Let's see. There we go. Not sure what happened there. Uh, you want that so it knows where you are. So sometimes what happens when you, you drop it on your home screen is it'll ask you to do some configuration steps. Um, for example, if you're doing a weather one, it may say, well, what city do you want the forecast for? Do you want it just for wherever you are or a specific place? Um, I don't even know if you can write this. So, how do you have the 10 different locations? And a drive? I mean, you want the 10 different locations. Um, then you have to. Yeah, so. Um, so, whether usually they're sorted alphabetically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went there. Are these oh. things widgets? Google, oh, Gmail, label, Gmail, three times. So FM those, radio, four times two, four yep, times those one. Yep, those are all widgets. So, the, yeah. the four times one is the size of it. Um, so like the, the screen is. So you can put it in a vacation uh, location yeah. here? Right, exactly. Um, so, so like one by one would be a small one. Four by one would be wide and not tall. Um, not super important to remember to, to know offhand. Okay. 
Um, is there a book that you could <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but then they don't do it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. They don't okay. do it. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I want to just just kind of keep it moving, um, so that we don't. There's, um, so the other thing uh, is on your home screen. Um, usually at the bottom, you can see it's it's this row here on an LG, this row on Google, this row on Samsung is. Um, is like the dock. So that's where you, pr you would want to put, right by default, it's normally the, the applications that the person who makes the phone thinks that you will use the most. Um, but you can also customize it. Um, so does everyone kind of know where the dock itself is? Yeah. OK. It's just the, yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me, let me help you here. OK, Milbray, do this. Is that the Where? Very bottom? Which one? Yep, yeah, just bottom. the very bottom. Yeah. On the very bottom. Which button? Uh, which you I hit, uh, hit this little magnifying glass. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Let's just try that. <coughs> Doesn't seem to like that. I know. Uh, maybe try your zip code instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's just the, and the, the sort of, the reason that we have the dock in general is because um, you can swipe left and right on the home screen. So, uh, okay, let's take a look. It still doesn't like that, does it? Huh. Um, okay, why don't we figure this out at the end? I just, okay. yeah, gladly uh, spend some time towards the end. Um, sorry. That's okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah, uh, likewise, like, if you're having trouble, I'll, I'll help you out, um, you know, towards the end. I'm happy to stay extra time if, if anyone wants. Sometimes yes? The, the bottom line is like this, isn't it? More than one line. Yes, so uh, that's actually interesting. Your phone looks like doesn't have a single dock. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And that's every, yeah, like I said, everyone's different. So yours, grid. right, so yours is just a grid. Um, and then, yeah, so that's, it's, it's important to know, but really the, the most important part of the dock is how to get to the stuff that isn't in it, right? So, um, you know, you have your phone and your contacts and your browser and your text here, but what about everything else? And so, that is this other button. Uh, so normally it's it, a circle and a bunch of dots, and that's going to open up all of your apps. So for you, um, I saw you. I'm sure you've seen it. The view all apps right there. Oh, oh. So you can see it's the same same icon. Just oh. yours is, yours looks a little different. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, has ever can everyone find the the way to see all the rest of their applications? Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's different for you. Okay, so. This is interesting. Um, so your phone doesn't have that. It just puts them all on the screen. Um, so. So, so great. Use it. Yeah, one, one less button for you to tap. Exactly. Uh, yes? In the public library, like this one, mm -hmm. there's like uh, phones or tablets or computers for mm -hmm. dummies or all kinds of yeah. basic books. And they're very helpful. OK. <laughs> and That's also, if you take questions at the end, you're mm -hmm. going to go much faster. Good point. Yeah. You're um, getting pulled off the path right now. Fair so, point. Um, so let's, let's keep moving. Um, yeah. Uh, OK. So the second to last thing I want to show on the home screen, um, just to kind of illustrate that everything's going to look a little different, uh, there is an app to make phone calls. Uh, usually has a phone on it. Um, can everyone find that? Mm -hmm. Great. OK. Uh, then the other one uh, that we'll kind of go in, in depth on here is, uh, is to send text messages. Um, that one either has like a little chat bubble, like you can see here and here, or it looks like a letter. Uh, can everyone find that? Um, I guess you with the tablet probably won't have either, but that's, yeah. OK. Uh, that's it. Everyone, everyone found at least those. Awesome. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about them uh, and, and learn some sort of the fundamentals of how to interact with Android apps. So uh, we're going to start. So the, the two we're going to talk about now are phone and SMS, because those are two things you definitely need to be able to do with a phone, right? Um, call people or send them messages. Uh, so the first one we're actually going to do or talk about is the, the SMS app. 
because generally it, it is a, a pretty standard of example of where everything is in an Android app. So um, can everyone open up their messages app? What is an app? So an app is just a program. It's a computer program. Yeah, short for application. Um, yeah. OK. So um, everyone open uh -huh. and kind of follow along and, and find what it looks like for you. So in the middle, you can see um, big, uh, a list of stuff, right? Um, in this case, it's messages. And they are ordered by most recent to least recent. Um, at the top, you'll see this three dot menu. The, the three dots generally means more options, uh, you know, like more stuff. Um, and you'll find that that's a pretty common pattern across Android apps. It's usually in the top right. Um, yeah. There's, you can also see this little magnifying glass that is for searching. Um, that is also a pretty, pretty commonly at the top of almost all Android apps. Um, the, or at least the ones that have search. And then in the bottom right here um, is this button with a plus. For some people, it may have like a little chat bubble and a plus on it. Um, but it's generally in the bottom right, and that's um, almost universally for creating something new. So in this app, it's uh, you know, to make a new message. In the phone app that we'll get to in a minute, that's like make, you know, open up the dial pad and make, up a, new, make a new call. Um, in an in email, it's make a new email. Do you have a question? No, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, so those are kind of the important parts. Um, yeah. So does anyone, uh, are there, um, is everyone, has any, everyone sent a text message? No. No, no. okay. Then let's, let's kind of go through that. Um, so it's, yeah. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, so what you want to do here is you're going to just kind of tap this button. I don't have that button. OK, let's see what it looks like for you. Yeah. Yes, so for you, it's actually up in the top here. It's this little Compose button. Um, and so this will pop up a screen. Uh, I wish I could present, because I, <laughs> um, but the, generally, the first thing that you're going to do is, um, is pick who you want to send it to. So um, there are a bunch of different ways to do that, and it, it varies. You either directly enter the phone number. Um, you can search for someone's name in your address book, or sometimes it'll just show a list of people. Um, so does that make sense? Has, ever, can everyone, has everyone gotten to that, and is everyone able to see that? So type a number. OK, so uh, either type a number or your address book, yeah. That works. Yeah, that's a good. If you're, <laughs> if you you need someone to send it, you know, pr to practice on. It's always easy to practice on on sending your own a uh, message to yourself. Yeah. And he, and then um, yeah, once you've you've selected your recipient, you uh, there's a usually a, a kind of a bar at the bottom that where you send the actual message itself, and then you hit the send button. It's pretty easy. Um, and by pretty easy, I mean it's a six-step process. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what does SMS stand for? Short message service. That's texting. Yeah. So uh, short. It used to be back maybe 15 years ago, you couldn't send more than 160 characters at a time. Um, now it's smart enough, it'll use, if you're longer than that, it'll just send them all together and yeah, it doesn't have to be short anymore. Um, it also doesn't have to just be text. So um, you can send pictures, videos, pretty much anything you want to. Um, and the way that you usually do that is, um, yeah, let me just, <laughs> so normally there's a, a, a button somewhere in your texting app that will either have a paper clip or a little plus. Mm -hmm. And that means I want to attach something. Um, so you tap that and it will give you an option of like, what would you like to send? Look like you're, you wanted to say something. Oh, okay, great. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, uh, there's a, um, 
the, the first three is okay. Why we should uh, have? I mean, how to search? Because this is a like uh, email come and go. Why we have a search or what? Yes. So search, um, search is useful. For example, when you know I've got a whole bunch of texts here, and I want to either find one specific one or one from a specific person. So say if uh, you know if there's someone who's like way down here, who I wouldn't see right away, um, that that's where the search comes in. So you use the, the drop, the, the I use the the glass the and then just start typing. So say I want to search for a specific person oh. or a message. Yeah. Um, so if you see that, that's usually a good way to kind of, if you know exactly what you're looking for, um, that's a yeah, that's the way to get there. I'm confused. If you send it to your, a phone number, mm -hmm. how does the photo go to the phone number? I mean, I can see if you send an email. Right. So it's um, it is uh, trying to think. So it's it's in the same way that you would attach a photo to an email, uh -huh. you can attach a photo to a text message. So Okay. Right, and then oh, the photo, it'll show up so you, you know where you see the text, um, usually like right above or below, you'll see the picture too. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, no, that's, that's, this is an Android basics class. <laughs> that's, that's just the right thing. Um, okay, um, is there anyone who doesn't feel comfortable with, with kind of the, the basics of getting around? Okay, so. Um, Let's just take a look here. OK. So for you. So you just want to say, like, enter a message. And so that's. Oh, yeah. So this is, someone's, this is someone sent you a picture. And it just is asking if you want to download it. No. No. OK. So then just then leave it as B. And you. So I enter a message for anybody. Well, for this, it'll be to this number at the top here, 415 something, something, something. Um, I just enter a message. Right. And then you hit send. I press or I start typing. Right. You start, start typing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Start typing. Once you're done. So if you can go over those six yeah. points again, just to summarize before we move on. Sure, of course. So of course. So uh, uh, select is where we started with. Select recipient. Except right. Number one. So the, the first step is, yeah, is, is pick who you want to send it to. And then the next step is uh, pick, figure out what you actually want to say. And that can be either text or um, there's a you know, either you hit the paperclip or the plus, and that will give you options of a picture or a video or um, some of them are really fancy like your your current location or something like that. Um, yeah, and then then you hit the send button, and the send button will usually either be the word send or like a paper airplane. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Does that, that answer yeah, your question? Yeah. You said six points, but this was four. OK. Well, hey, that's even better. Maybe, yeah. maybe there were a couple more. I think the six was just a number that I picked. Okay. Uh, sorry, that was, okay. that was uh, misleading. Yeah, four, we're good. Yeah. We're good. OK. So uh, the, the other thing that we probably all want to be able to do is make phone calls, right? Um, so do I have? OK. I had planned to do a demo, um, but I think the, the projector isn't quite working as well. So. Uh, we'll just kind of walk folks through it. Um, so what we can do, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, why don't we? <laughs> uh, so the the three things. The first thing is dialing a number. So if you open up the app, the phone part of your phone, um, which I know sounds funny, um, <laughs> right? Open the f specifically the phone part. It's usually the the app that has a phone. Um, and so it, you'll see probably a lot of the same kind of structure that you have here. Mm -hmm. where, but instead, you know, this will be a list of something, usually a list of either your calls or your people. Um, yes, call log. So, that's, so usually, yeah, usually it end, opens up on a list of all your recent calls. And so a couple things to note there. Um, the, they are sorted by time, right? Just like the messages, most recent at the top, least recent at the bottom. They will have some information usually about, oops, I am calling someone that I didn't want to. Um, <laughs> I just tapped the wrong thing. I'm going to put that over there. No. Um, yeah, so the, 
I lost my train of thought. So then usually there will also be an indication so that you can tell whether it was someone who called you or a call that you yourself made. Um, generally, the way that they do that is um, with a little arrow. And so a green arrow generally means someone called you. Uh, a red arrow means you called someone. And then if you missed a call, uh, it'll usually be kind of like a little bent arrow, like something bounced. Um, and then the other thing, uh, the other sort of important thing for the phone is voicemail. And so the, the quick shortcut to do that um, is you open up the dialer, and again, you long press on the one key. And that'll just call your voicemail automatically. Um, yeah, so. What do we open? Uh, yep, so then you open the, um, it's, so it's the phone. Yeah, yours is. Yours is very different. Yes, it is. So for you, uh, it's going to be dial. Yeah. And then you just, like that. Ah. Yep, so you have to just keep holding until the screen changes, and you'll know when you've started calling it. <laughs> The home is free or must pay for? For calling your home? So, um, usually uh, at this point, yeah, your cell phone plan, um, it, it depends. So, uh, sometimes people, uh, there are a bunch of different kinds. Sorry? I don't have that. Okay. Uh, yours is also this dial right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so some. Some phone calls, um, phone some phone call. plans are ones where you pay by the minute. Some are ones where uh, you can talk as much as you want, and then sometimes there, you, you know, you can, you get a certain amount of minutes for the price of your plan, and then after that, it costs extra money. Yeah, but normally that usually covers all calls within the United States. International is is more expensive. So you don't need to put the one in. The don't need to. Okay. But usually you do need to put the area code in. Yep. Yeah, area code. Area code, right. Yeah, um, and then used to, you have to put the ones before the media. Right, so now, now that we, yeah, that you have to put in the area code, it's, uh, you don't always have to put the one. No, no, I still put the one. That's, it's, it's totally fine to do it if you want to. Um, so, yes? Uh, so, when I press and I have the voicemail uh -huh. uh, sign, that means when somebody has called me, I can hear. Right. What about if I want to leave a message with my boy? Please call me back. This is my sure. game. Sure. So that, do that or? yeah, that's just so you, the um, the way you would do that is is just like you would with a regular uh, you know a landline phone where you would call them and it would ring and then you leave them a message and then they'll be able to pick it up. At what moment when I say voicemail? When he says voicemail. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can't you can't go directly to their voicemail usually, um, but you can you can do it sort of the regular way. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so dial for you, it's, yeah. it's. So you yeah. dial, then how, how you go to the message? Uh, to your voicemail, uh -huh. just tap, just do this, uh -huh. stay on the one. Oh. Uh -huh. Stay on the one. <laughs> right, so for you it looks like uh, maybe your cell phone provider's a little odd, something like that, yeah. Um, okay, so, so we've kind of gotten the, the basics. Does anyone have questions or, yes? Sure. Thing on phones. Can you just say what to do when you're talking and then another call comes in? Sure. Um, usually you'll get uh, an option. You, you know, so you, you hear the sound and you, you take the phone away from your ear, right? Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll say, this person's calling. Scotty's calling. Uh, normally you get two buttons, right? One is green to pick up the call. Okay. One is red to say, no, not right now. Right. Um, if you pick up the one call, it'll automatically put the other call on hold. Uh, and then you'll usually you can see a you'll see buttons on the screen that either are like switch or merge the two calls, so you can it can do all that kind of stuff automatically now. Yeah. So even on the basic Android, I mean, yeah. like mine, when you when you do it, I get a call. Uh huh. It just uh, I I hit the dial tone, but I don't see anything else. That's hmm. kind of weird. That is odd. Yeah, I've never. I mean, so yeah. what I end up end up doing is I just hang up the call and get the other one. 
it, show it it could yeah so it, it may not be for everybody yeah. um, it's it's hard to say yeah. it, it depends on both it, yeah. your phone and the person you have phone service right. with okay. yeah um, so we've gotten kind of the the very basic parts yes specific questions you solicited from us earlier? We're getting to them now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to talk about all the other cool stuff your phone does. Um, and the first one we're going to get to is installing apps from the App Store. Um, yeah. So the App Store uh, is just a single app like any other app on your phone. It's called Google Play. Um, can everyone take a minute and find that now? Yes. Awesome. Um, so one thing to, that's important to mention before we... Is it no internet combat? Ah, yes. This, this is a part where we will need internet. So um, let's, let's go through that exercise. That's worth it. How, how, how right. The Play Store. Play Store. The Wi-Fi Play Store. Is Play Store. Right. So Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a water. Yeah. Wi-Fi connections. OK. So, so yeah. So um, is anyone not able to get to the internet right now? Probably, yes. OK, so what we're going to want to do uh, is, is get on the, the Wi-Fi first, the library's Wi-Fi. How do you get the library? So in order to, well, so yours, yours yeah. Hers is yes, yours is going to be. So this is, this is a part that's going to be uh, a little different for everybody. Um, so what, what we can do, yeah, is just kind of follow watch and follow. follow. You, yeah. yeah. So um, I, <laughs> um, what, what I'm going to do. In the day, it's not a connect. But they'll happen to my house, too. I have a Wi-Fi at my home. Yes. But sometimes they show it's not a connect to the internet. Right. So that, uh, that happens because sometimes your phone doesn't always understand uh, how to. Well, what do we can do? Usually what I would do is go into your settings, and you'll see, see Wi-Fi settings. Uh -huh. And then there will be an option to turn it off. So I would say turn it off, turn it back on again, and see if it's fixed. That's usually the, that gets rid of 75% of your problems. Connecting is available. Why, why right, is so it means there are, you can connect, but you're not connected now. Yeah. That's what connections available means. So yes. I, I turn off, turn on the, the mic. So that, that's something we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that at the end, um, just because it's a little, it, that's, kind of, that's a long story. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, those of you who can open the Play Store, maybe uh, share with the people who, nearby who can't. Um, so what you want to, you'll, you'll see um, in the Play Store, um, tons and tons of apps, kind of the, the fire hose in the, the Google Play Store. So the, yeah, we'll, we'll let the dust settle for everyone while they, <laughs> while they get set up. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so. Sorry. Can I go to Google Play? Yes. So it's it's an app on your phone. So you know how we were talking about the yeah. Yes, Google Play. It it may actually be under the P's instead of the G's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who is not? Either at the Play Store or not near someone, near someone who isn't. If you're in the Play Store, does that yes. mean you're at the internet? It's, uh, you, it's impossible to get to the Play Store without the internet. Right. It'll say you're not connected to the internet. Right. Please retry. Yes. Yeah. So if you see a list of something, um, and you see apps and games or anything, you see the search bar at the top. Mm -hmm. um, again, sort of the, the same pattern that you see in the Messages app or in the phone. Um, search bar at the top with some options. and uh, then a whole bunch of stuff underneath. Um, so things to know about the Play Store. Um, there's tons and tons of applications, and almost all of them are free. Um, some of them you have to pay for. Once you install them, they update automatically. Um, the other cool thing that you can do, uh, that I, this I can demonstrate, uh, is you can install it. If you're signed in, to, you can go to the Play Store on your computer and tell your phone that you want to install the app. So I think that's probably a good thing to, to sort of show so that we can all follow along. Um, so if you go to play.google.com, uh, play.google.com on your computer, um, 
probably won't work with the computers in the library because you have to be signed in. Um, but on the bright side, that means what you see here should be kind of the same stuff that you see in the Play Store. Um, everyone, is everyone there where you see a bunch of puzzles? You know, for me, it's, I guess it knows I like puzzles, so it has a bunch of puzzle games as well as I don't really know what. Yes? Do you know how to um, uh, install an app uh, without uh, agreeing to all the permissions? Unfortunately, you have to do that. Um, yeah, so the, the things that you do have to have a Google account to download apps from the App Store. Um, that's just a requirement. Uh, there's, there's nothing we can do about that. The list of uh, permissions for each app. Yes, so you, uh, you, you do have to. You can't get around that. You can't get around it. Um, right, and so the, the reason for that is, is for your security. So uh, the app is going to show you everything that it wants access to, and then you have to make the decision whether or not you want to give it access to have the app. Well, um, the developer has access uh, to that information. Right. So um, you might not be secure with them. They so, could send it to whatever they want to. Exactly. So that's, are, that's yeah. the point of showing you, right, for each app, um, what, what you're getting yourself into before you install it. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Not, not only that, you have to be careful of some of the apps that you download. Is that not correct? That is yeah. correct. But is it yeah, also correct that uh, it's been sort of in order to get through Play Store, mm -hmm. there is such a screening yeah. device. Taking There's a place. screening process. There's also like a, a remote kill switch. So if Google yeah. discovers that you put on a virus, they can pull it off of your phone remotely. They don't do it very often, but um, it is it is Windows an option. Relatively safe though with yes. the Google app. I mean, you should, the store. If it's in here, it, it generally is going to be yeah, it's it's probably fine. Um, there are antivirus apps you can download just in case. Um, yeah. So the, the one thing I the, the kind of the pathway I want to go through here is where we all download an app so we know how to do it. Um, there's a pretty simple one that doesn't really require a lot of uh, doesn't require a lot of permissions. It's free. You can we can go through uninstalling it right after. Um, it's called Androidify. So what I want everyone to do is uh, either you know watch their neighbor or go through and search for this word, um, and you should see it'll be the first result. Mm -hmm. you, on a play screen, you mm -hmm. put on this. Right, the play screen you, you search for Androidify, um, just in that same search bar. Let me see if I can bring up. Yeah. I can talk to it. Yeah. You can. <laughs> yeah, so you probably have to scroll. Yes, so uh, yeah. same thing up here. So you see how there's the little yeah. magnifying okay. glass? I yep. Have to I got cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, when you talk to it, it doesn't always. Yes. So even if you just get to Android and then the letter I, that should be enough for it to figure out. So I'll do the same thing. It is. It's, it's overwhelming. So there's a lot of stuff, and I, I think the hardest part. Awesome. So you can see the, the icon looks like this. It's like a little robot dude with a, a cool little hat on. Um, so what you'll see, oh, uh, I got to hang on a sec. Uh, How do you get the typing screen? Um, so yeah, there you go. Oh, simple. Very simple. <laughs> uh, don't save that. OK. So. Yes, uh, so Android with an I. It's so hard to type, too. Is this something we should install? Yeah, so that's the thing. So what the next step is going to be tap install. Um, as the, the gentleman was talking about earlier, you'll probably see something come up that talks about the permissions that the app needs. I think there's only two. One of them is, yeah, so is your identity, which uh, basically it just needs to know who you, basically needs to know what your Google account is. 
Um, that's a pretty standard one. The other one is uh, it wants access to your photos so that it can save uh, a picture there. Um, yeah, so you need. Oh, what you just we the you don't need to have it. This is just to show how, and this is one that that is not going to do anything bad. It's not super big either. Yeah. So what it does, uh, you can see in these screenshots here, it lets you make uh, like a customized little Android version of yourself. Oh. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, ah. Yes, we got stuck. So yes, um, the first time you go to install apps, it'll ask you probably for credit card information. Mm -hmm. You can skip it. It's totally fine. Um, what that means then is if there's one that costs money, you aren't able to download it until you put in your credit card. Fine because then you know. Right. So then, then you can't, so you won't ever accidentally spend money that you didn't mean to. Yeah. So that's um, that. So has everyone gotten to install it? OK, so once you're there, um, you'll probably notice that the install button has now switched to uninstall. And so that's a pretty easy way to go and uninstall your apps. Um, you just tap that, and it'll be off your phone. Um, and you can do that for almost any app other than a couple that can't be removed, like the phone or the, the email, uh, like the, the texter. Yeah. Um, has everyone, yeah, you can practice now if you want to, but is everyone? Kind of does that satisfy the people who want to know about installing apps? Um, any more? Any other questions about that before we kind of? That was the last uh, like kind of structured thing that I had. So and, yes. Androidify mean installing apps. So Androidify is an app that you can install. Yes. Right. Uh, there are there are a whole bunch of other ones. For example, um, you know, Gmail is an app. Uh, Google Chrome. Let's see. Yahoo is one. Yep. Uh, so I think someone wanted to talk about Yahoo Mail uh, earlier. Yeah, I can talk for days about that. Uh, <laughs> sorry? Kill shot virus. Yes, that looks like uh, a fun game. There are, so that's one of my favorite parts is there are tons and tons of games that you can download. Um, and many of them are free. Uh, yeah, this one. I don't know. Might not be my thing, but uh, Google seems to think so. Killshot Kill virus. Uh, I might like this the solving puzzles one a little more, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one it's much healthier. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So that's that's kind of the the end of the structured part. Now I'm kind of want to go through these questions that we talked about so that we can make sure that I get to them. Um, and kind of figured I wouldn't save the last half hour or so for um, some, some just general questions if anyone thinks of anything else. Um, hang on just a second. OK, so let's see. Um, I'm going to go in whatever order I want to, because I'm in charge. Um, <laughs> yeah, OK. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Google Maps. Uh, who was it that wanted to know about Google Maps? Yes, I think it was. Yes, so um, as, I was, as I talked about earlier, your phone has a chip in it that lets you know where it is in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so Google Maps is an app. It's usually pre-installed on your phone. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not, then you can get it in the App Store. If you just search for Maps, it'll be probably the first result. Um, Google Maps can do a lot of really good stuff. So let me just open it up here so that I can remember all of it. Um, so. The, the kind of most obvious thing is it'll show you a map of where you are right now. Um, where you are is usually represented by a little blue dot. Um, that dot, yes, yeah, is, is from the GPS, and that'll put you on the map. Um, like any other Android app, you can zoom in and out with the pinch gesture that we talked about. So you can zoom all the way out. Oh. You want to switch now? Oh, yeah, sure. Right, we can do the, the demo-y thing. 